The richest billionaire Elon Musk is famous for owning up to seven companies, including three top global corporations, SpaceX, Tesla, and Twitter, or now rebranded to X.com. But what if I told you he wasn't doing it all on his own? Not trying to be a hater here, but honestly, hiring a great asset to help execute a massive vision is one of the best things that an entrepreneur can do. And for SpaceX, he had Gwen Shotwell as his right hand. Indeed, she is SpaceX's secret weapon. Under her leadership, the reusable rocket and broadband internet satellite mega constellation pioneering company keeps hitting insane milestones. Let's find out more about her amazing contributions to the company and how her revolutionary charge has put SpaceX at the forefront in the rocket launching industry in today's episode of Great SpaceX. So, first off, who exactly is Gwen Shotwell? Shotwell, born in 1963 in Illinois, America, in a family where there wasn't much aspiration of chasing careers involved in technology, let alone aerospace, shocked her entire family. No one in her family could foresee that this little girl would one day become the backbone of the U.S.'s giant space exploration company, SpaceX, enhancing the entire American aerospace industry. She is, in fact, the current president and COO of SpaceX, responsible for day-to-day day operations and managing all customer and strategic relations to support company growth. Before getting involved with SpaceX, however, she spent 10 years garnering experience in aerospace. She first received a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and a Master's of Science in Applied Mathematics from Northwestern University. Her storied career began in 1988 when she received a job at the El Segundo Research Center of the Aerospace Corporation and did technical work on military space research and development contracts. She left the Aerospace Corporation in 1998 to become director of the Space Systems Division at Microcosm Incorporated. There, she served on the executive committee and was responsible for business development. Within two years at two top aerospace corporations, Shotwell actively sharpened her knowledge, skill, and mindset. She would eventually catch the eyes of Elon Musk at the very first meeting at a party in 2002. At the same time, Shotwell was also impressed impressed with Elon's understanding of her field and even with his ambition to own his very own rocket with low cost and developing other important components in-house. After that fateful meeting, Musk truly found a treasure. From that moment on, the only way for Shotwell was to the top. When he came across Shotwell, Musk's SpaceX had only just been founded from scratch. Additionally, Musk's practical experience in rocketry wasn't anywhere near Shotwell's at the time, so he really needed someone who had the same vision and was better than him for guidance. Thus, he urged Shotwell to hold the vice president of sales position, and after several considerations, she finally agreed. In 2002, she officially became the seventh employee of SpaceX. It's safe to say that over her time working at SpaceX, Shotwell took the company from a concept of enabling people to live on other planets to becoming a multi-billion dollar conglomerate with over 10,000 employees and a valuation of $125 billion. And of her excellent contributions, she quickly acquired the position of company president in just six years after joining. According to the report, SpaceX's annual revenue is $2 billion, whereas the revenue of ULA, or United Launch Alliance, is quite lower at 1.3 billion. For Rocket Lab and Blue Origin, the numbers are 211 and 42.8 million dollars, respectively. Two billion dollars per year on average. Not bad for such a young company. So, what contributions did Shotwell make for the company that got her the respect she deserved? Her idea is simply to focus more on the rich customer segment and find a way to sell her product to them. One of the customers with the most potential is NASA, with an endless budget funded by the U.S. government. In addition, NASA's programs also have been hitting many troubles in delay and overexpenditure caused by its outdated space launch system. So, choosing a supplier with quality and cheap products is the first priority for NASA. Through her wisdom, Shotwell has successfully convinced NASA many times of signing multi-billion dollar commercial
commercial contracts with SpaceX since 2016, including carrying cargo and crew to the International Space Station and eventually to the moon. But no one can forget, or shouldn't forget, that with its presence in the list of NASA's partners, SpaceX's reputation has and is continuing to rise. Nothing is better than a junior in the space industry who takes the chance to participate in national projects, and amazingly, in each role it joined, SpaceX came out on top and gave NASA peace of mind. There's no doubt there will be more and more customers who want to sign trade contracts with SpaceX and, as a result, increase the company's profit significantly. Additionally, Gwen Shotwell is very clever to apply the residual capability principle. That just means building profitable business lines around technology you already have in order to support longer-term projects. During her time, instead of just focusing on rockets, SpaceX started to extend its business range. Take, for example, we've all seen that SpaceX was all already used to launch satellites for other companies, and Shotwell later realized a larger opportunity, a satellite constellation that would be made in-house. And by spreading it around the world, the company could build a sustainable business on Earth that might be needed on Mars. However, one of the many issues on satellites is that, due to the expensive cost per launch of a rocket to take some of those satellites up into orbit, that raises the price. SpaceX's advantage is that it already has a low cost and larger, if not largest, payload capability compared to other rockets, which will in turn lower the cost of those satellites. So there you have it, making in-house satellites that will fly on in-house rockets, saving time and therefore saving money. Thanks to Shotwell, SpaceX now has a satellite internet constellation, Starlink, covering 55% of orbital space. To date, Starlink is still being launched by Falcon 9, a partially reusable medium-lift launch vehicle. Starlink's upcoming second version, which is massive in size, has an increased bandwidth and will be sent up by Starship. But why not just send this iteration up in Falcon 9 or Heavy? Well, Starship is better suited for the job than Falcon 9 and even Heavy, since it has more payload capacity than both of its predecessors, with a capability to haul 100 tons of cargo to LEO, and more power. It's promised to be fully reusable, meaning both the first and second stages will all come home. But that's not all. SpaceX is planning to offer point-to-point -point travel on Earth by, drumroll please, Starship. Could you even imagine that one day we could just take 45 minutes to travel from Shanghai to New York instead of nearly 20 hours? Barring layovers? It's the future of transportation technology. This is why Gwen Shotwell is considered SpaceX's secret weapon. When mentioning SpaceX, the majority of the public just remembers Elon Musk's efforts. But we all shouldn't forget that the best leaders don't work alone. They always have an extraordinary consultant or advisor at their side. Mark Zuckerberg hired Sheryl Sandberg and his chief operating officer in 2000 2008, during the time the company was just a few years old. Google would not have a wide variety of smart apps at present if they did not have the support of Ivy Ross as a designer for all Google hardware products. So let's imagine what would SpaceX become without Gwen Shotwell's presence over the past 21 years. In my opinion, if that situation actually happened, Musk could never turn his dreams into reality. Here, let me show you what I mean. Working for Elon Musk is tough for everyone. It's proven by the fact that since 2016, more than two dozen senior executives have left Elon Musk's EV company, Tesla. It's the same type of situation over at SpaceX. But the main reason why Shotwell hasn't left is because she's one of the few collaborators who has the capability of adapting to the tough requirements from SpaceX's boss. Evidently, she's accompanied Elon Musk for 21 years at SpaceX and even leads a strong team that has brought billion-dollar contracts to SpaceX's doorstep. Moreover, Shotwell is a reliable consultant who's able to bring Elon down to Earth. She wants to create a Mars colony as much as Elon does, but that doesn't mean that she is 100% aligned with his ambitions. Unlike her boss, she has a financially viable plan for how to actually get it done. When she first joined the fledgling space exploration company, Musk had only thought about how to build a rocket to reach Mars and start humanity on the multiplanetary life course. In fact, life on Mars is an idea that nobody 
nobody has ever really thought about before. Meaning, Musk has to start everything from scratch, from the most basic steps, including fabricating a capable vehicle and taking a crew of people on the months-long journey, not to mention the repeated failures, all of which has made a huge dent in Elon's finances. But fortunately for both Elon and SpaceX, Shotwell had discovered a game-changer, residual capability. SpaceX's initial plan is to design a type of rocket with the advantages of low price, strong power, and large payload capacity. Afterward, the other commercial activities consisting of Starlink and point-to-point -point travel are developed at the base of that rocket project. With the profit that is derived from those activities, the process of researching and building the rocket will be reinvested. So, what do you think of Gwen Shotwell now that you've gotten to know her a bit better? Has your opinion changed or does it remain the same? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, that's all folks. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.